Wagwan, what a guan. It's your girl Tash. To all my subscribers, big up on yourself. One love. Sitting in my chair right now is my son Kai. So Kai started his hair growth journey a year ago. And after achieving 5 inches of hair growth, he decided to end his hair growth journey. And around 2-3 to three months ago, he started growing out his afro again. So this is the first hairstyle since his new hair growth journey. But his hair is very damaged as you can see, which is what usually happens when you just leave your ear out in an afro without combing it or caring for it. But he has been using my Speechless Hair Growth Blend to moisturize his hair ever so often, so the growth is amazing. However, I'll need to trim the ends to help rebuild his hair into a more healthier state. So, please subscribe and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on this next video. And guys, I can't promise you that Kai won't change his mind once again about growing out his hair because as some of you might already know, children, they will say they want something this minute and then the next minute they change their minds. But I hope that Kai will keep up with this new venture to grow out his hair again. So stay tuned and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So the first ear style I am going to do is the braids going down to the side and my technique is to always part the hair from the center of the head to create two equal sections. And I want to not only make sure that the parting is straight but to also make sure that both sections are equal. One of my most frequently asked questions is what are the different hair types and how do I recognize my hair type? The hair type and texture are broken down into A, B, C based on the curls pattern, density, porosity, width, and length. So type 1 hair is straight. Type 2 is best described as wavy. Type 3 is curly. And type 4 is coily. You may have different curl patterns on different parts of your head. So this hair texture is a 4C hair texture and the level of shrinkage is up to 75% which makes the tangling very hard and can be very painful if you don't use the right products. And I know some of you guys are still very confused about the different hair textures and the different levels of shrinkage. So I started collecting strands from each of my clients and I'll be putting all those strands together in one video so I can explain to you guys more in depth on the different types of hair and how to recognize them and how to maintain them. So 4C ear texture represents the tightness of the curls and is one of the hardest ear texture to maintain depending on the levels of shrinkage. So each 4C ear texture has a different level of shrinkage. So my son Kai has up to 75% shrinkage, which is quite a lot of shrinkage. It's important to understand your hair texture so that you know what products to use and also how to manage your hair daily. So please subscribe to my channel for more tips on different types of hair textures and how to maintain them. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am a short ear braider located in London, United Kingdom and you can find my contact details in the description box below. So on this channel, you'll find videos of different clients with different hair textures and I'll be posting updates on some of my clients and their hair growth journeys. So please subscribe and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on a thing. So guys, at the end of this video, please comment your thoughts. Even if you don't have anything good to say, I still would like you to drop a comment, whether positive or negative, because some people are like me who would like to read the comments before watching the video. So please comment and let the people them know your thoughts and let me know your thoughts. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and whatever other platform you see me upon. Just follow and support the thing. One love.